All right, guys, around here, there's a fire out here. AMR's leaving, it looks like. <clears throat> there's a fire out here. There's a whole bunch of cops, a whole bunch of fire department. I think we already missed the fire, though. We'll come out and see what's going on. Oh, there's a news guy leaving over there. I think they're done already. So, oh, shit. I'll re yeah. I'm busy looking at my camera instead of the light. Okay, guys, so we'll get it. Yeah, we know. Thanks. Okay. Okay, we're on the sidewalk. We don't need directives. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, guys. So they're saying it was a crime scene. Okay, so right here, he was saying it's a crime scene. <laughs> so we got somebody here, there's probably the people that own the business. They probably own the property. Her house is burning down and she's worried about us recording. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't mean to shut that cop down, but we really don't need directives. I've done this a while, so he was gonna try to distract us or I don't know. But um But uh, I'm going to try to stay on the sidewalk here as much as I can. Yeah, I didn't mean to shut that cop down. I just, he's giving directives and I didn't need directives. So, we're walking down the sidewalk. He doesn't need to say anything while we're walking down the sidewalk. You know, if I started to go past that, he could stop me and say, oh, this, you know, whatever, but I'm walking down the sidewalk. This is a sidewalk. It's an open sidewalk, so I don't need directives. Um, that's why I did that. So, I don't know, I think I'm just getting tired of cops always telling us what to do. And I understand that they, you know, that sometimes they have to give directives and so forth, but not when you're just walking down the sidewalk. You know, there's no reason for him to start giving directives and say, well, this is a crime scene. You can't, ah, whatever. Okay, I know what I'm doing. All right, thank you. <coughs> so there you go. I should, um, so we're out here doing cop watching. Let me see what's down here. I should, um, I don't know. Um, I was gonna say, I should get my other camera out and film that and see what's going on. But the sidewalk's not closed. So he was gonna try to give us directives. I probably should have let him. I probably was a little, I don't know. It just, as soon as I walked up with my camera, he started telling us it's a crime scene and you can't do this and you can't do that. Well then tape the damn thing off. You know what I mean? Put tape up and then we know. <clears throat>
So I was just going down there to see if there's anything there. There's nothing but smoke. But uh, there's the cop. And I said, I probably did get a little presumptuous. <clears throat> I just, I don't know, they're always wanting to give directives, you know, always with the, with the orders and the, but uh, he's fine. I just, I don't know, man. Getting cranky in my old age. So I think it was a mobile home that burned, huh? Or was it a, yeah. And they're saying it was a crime scene. Well, I can't help that. You got people over here watching. Now he was telling us it was a crime scene, but you got people over here watching. See what I'm saying? They were down here watching. <coughs> I don't know. If it's a crime scene, tape it off. You know, run some police tape. So. I know, I'm grumpy, man. I'm just jaded. All right, guys, not much left to this. It's just a um, fire investigation here on Baseline in Highland. It's not much to really see. As you see over here. There's Nike Kaipa. I'm going to put this thing up.